All right, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really want to make this type of video, but honestly, if I want to grow as a creator and, and a person, I, I really have to do this. I have, I have to do this because, frankly, my behavior during this entire incident was uh, in inexcusable. Absolutely inexcusable. And, and what I did to Ticklish Clara and the parties involved, I, I was downright mean. And frankly, it wasn't in a devious matter, you know, it wasn't trolling, it was just straight up mean. I, I blatantly attacked them for their fetishes, beliefs, whatever. And that's honestly just not cool, you know. Just doing that puts a puts a bad taste in my mouth, because frankly, if I, I, I want to rebrand, I, I have a podcast based on positivity, inclusion, and, and an understanding, but I don't know how I could continue with this when I blatantly attacked a YouTuber for no apparent reason. And I drove them off the platform. I, I, I was basically, I, I basically drove them off the platform for no apparent reason. Now, before I go into specifics, uh, Ticklish Clara does go by uh, she/her, so I will use her uh, preferred pronouns. Now, this entire thing started in late March uh, when we had the COD tournament on the. Capital Gains Discord channel. I mean, this this guy always seems everywhere. I mean, every beef, every every scenario, he's just, he's just there. Uh, this is in the COD tournament. Uh, I ended up in the second brack, and I did lose to Ticklish Clara. He's incredibly good at COD, and I really and I really ate some stinky ass in 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 the game. I was not doing well at all. But um. It goes further than this because I, I proceeded to post a picture of myself in my younger days back in my prime and Ticklish Clara replied with a really perverted gif. And honestly, looking back, it wasn't even that bad. It was like a femboy thing or whatever. But I, I remember, I overreacted to this so bad. Let me tell you, I was a goddamn wuss. I overreacted so bad, I got into an argument with her. And then... <coughs> And then ultimately, I just and, and then ultimately, because she had her YouTube channel linked on a Discord, and I and I tried to poke fun at the fact she made you know t t tickling videos at the time, but really, really, really like just weird tickling videos. But honestly, I'm not one to judge. I mean, I play Undertale. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in no right to judge content when I play Undertale. But um, from there, I I just I thought about it and I. Decided, you know, wait a minute, this, this isn't enough. She ended up leaving the Discord server. So I conspired with uh, a known terrorist. Uh, his name's Supercell. His, uh, he was like a cat. This was his profile, it was like a cat. With, like sparkles and stuff. It, 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 it was neat. He had a light, he had, it was just weird though. He had like a really bad forced laugh. And, um,. Long time history nerds here now Capital Games made a video on my entire beef. Unfortunately, he deleted it. I don't know why. What? And I know he's watching this. Well, why'd he delete it, Cap? Why? Why'd he delete it? It was such a good video. St sticking your nose in my beef. Well, what the hell, man? But um, after the COD tournament, I thought, you know what? Let's bring him down. So I joined their Discord server. Supercell joined their Discord server, and this is where we made our first mistake. There, sure, there were creepy people in the Discord server, and we had a downright experience with them. One of them was, like, forcibly role-playing. I don't know why. It took three guys, three males. We had three guys on this, and we couldn't... And for some reason, we thought, wait a minute, if there's this one creep... Oh, must, must, be, must be Ticklish Flower's fault. Unbelievable. Get the SWAT team in here. And then I ended up making uh, a video... Uh, I think it was, uh, exposing their community, and frankly, they did react in a in a not really mature way. They were talking about you know doxing me and stuff. And what's crazy is that the co-owner of the Discord, Clara, actually wasn't even in the Discord. Believe believe it or not, she was not even in the Discord. So we blatantly attacked a community that was on its own. And even Clara stepped in to say, no, leave him alone, you know, it's not worth it, why, why, are, you, why are you guys doing this? And the co-owner at the time said, so what if Clara says, don't do it? 
And honestly, I don't. That should have been a sign, clear as day, that Clara is an all right person and someone, someone I'm happy to have on the platform. But for some reason, it didn't hit. It didn't hit. So I joined. I, I joined her second Discord server with like 40. There was like 17 other. Uh, there was like 12 other people. And then you know, three months. I, I was such a loser. Honestly, I was such a loser attacking this poor person, which, by the way, they had mental issues. I was fully aware of them, and yet, I still did the things that I did. And this is just a really ugly stain, and I hate that this stain is here. You know, I w I'm i trying to clean it up, but I know it's, it's like pasta sauce on a white shirt. It's going to stay there forever. And honestly, I think it's good it stays there, so that people know... Pe people know, J just so that people know. Now, on the offset that Ticklish Clara is listening to this, please, please come back. It was a, <coughs> it was a pleasure getting to know you and you. And honestly, your reformed content, your rebranded content, was actually very interesting. And honestly, I did enjoy some of the videos. I did enjoy some of the videos. What we did wrong, we blamed Clara. For something she had no control over she didn't even know it was going on and frankly i think she was in the right she she knew the discord server was toxic and she left it which i think you know honestly the smartest person here was clara because me capital gains and supercell we messed this up so bad we did such a botched operation so after i made my video uh after I made my video, remember that time I destroyed a, a YouTube a YouTuber? Claire deleted her just cleared Claire deleted her YouTube channel, and honestly, I feel so bad for that now. Claire, Claire, I, once again, Claire, if you're watching this, please come back. I I won't do anything with you, but it would bring peace to my soul to know I didn't quench someone's dreams. Cause I remember. Uh, I think it was Clara that mentioned once or twice, you know, they, they liked making content. It was happy for them. It, it was like a form of therapy. And frankly, I took that away. I made that a negative experience. And now I feel like a complete asshole. So I, I, this is something that really needed to be done. Me apologizing, not, not my numerous, just disgusting acts. This was borderline, this, this wasn't even borderline. This was just plain hateful behavior. <sighs> so... To wrap this up, I know I sound like a broken record here, but Clara, please come back, please, please. Uh, I don't think I've said this once, but it's I'm sorry, I I I I messed up. I'm not gonna say I was in a dark place or or so. I knew what I was doing, but I know I was I was just horrible at the time. I I, I don't know why. So yeah, I think that's going to close out today's vid. Got the non-copyright music in the background. Uh, shout out if you know what's playing. But um, I guess I'm going to have to close this now. Please come back. Sampler View signing off.